What mysteries does the last free-flowing river hold? Will we appreciate its hidden treasures, wildlife, and beauty before the Yampa River of Northwest Colorado is forever changed? The enigmatic cascading Yampa River is the last major free-flowing river in the seven-state Colorado River Basin. In this video, we hope to give you a glimpse of the Yampa's mysteries and complexities and start to achieve the goals of the Yampa River Awareness Project. The goal of the Yampa River Project is to document the characteristics of the free-flowing Yampa River, its vulnerability, and the importance of protecting it from future generations. Beginning at 12,000 feet in the Rocky Mountains, 175 miles northwest of Denver, the Yampa River cascades 260 miles to its junction with the Green River in Dinosaur National Monument. The waters of the Yampa then become a major component of the Green River, which is the largest tributary of the Colorado River as it flows through Canyonlands and Grand Canyon National Parks. The Yampa starts its journey above the tree line in the Flat Tops Wilderness Area, then descends past the region's largest city and major ski resort, Steamboat Springs, before it heads west past the coal mines and power plants at Hayden, cattle ranches at Maybell, and through the 2,000-foot deep canyons of Dinosaur National Monument. A unique critical characteristic of the Yampa is its natural stream flow pattern where there is a high peak in late spring and early summer, followed by a gradual decline in volume to very low flows in fall and winter. In contrast are stream flows of the nearby dam-controlled Green River above the confluence with the Yampa, where the river has lost a spring peak and there are low, steady year-round flows. In fact, the Yampa is the last major river in the Colorado River Basin to retain an unimpaired free-flowing natural flow regime. The Yampa largely functions as a free-flowing river. The depletions to the river system are relatively minor, on the order of 100,000 to 125,000 acre feet against a, a hydrograph of a million or a million and a half acre feet. When peak flows were eliminated and sediment removed by Flaming Gorge Dam on the nearby Green River, there were drastic changes in the stream channel of the Green. It reduces the uh, diversity of the habitat within the channel. You no longer have side channels with uh, slower moving water. It confines the channel into a, a, a single channel um, that typically is narrower, sometimes deeper and swifter. The Yampa River flows and the incised canyons provide the habitat for diverse, vibrant ecosystems that support a wide range of wildlife. A rich riparian zone has evolved. Here along the Yampa we're finding that uh, there's a lot of box elder, a lot of tree species, cottonwood, um, a lot of grasses. Uh, it's a very lush place. Globally rare giant cottonwood gallery forests that line riverbanks are unique and significant for wildlife. The ecology of this area, the environmental um, attributes that exist here are also very dependent on the natural flows of the Yampa River. The Yampa is one of the last major free-flowing rivers in the western United States. And it's that free-flowing nature and the hydrograph that's associated with that free-flowing nature that, um, that, this, that this ecosystem has adapted to. 
So that globally rare forest is dependent on that, the agricultural community is dependent on, on the flows in the Yampa River, and then there are four endangered fish species that are also dependent on the flows in the Yampa River as well. Endangered fish, the Colorado pike minnow is no minnow at all as it grows to over 65 pounds and migrates up to 300 miles to spawn. Research has shown that these fish are absolutely dependent on the high spring flood flows for their long-term survival. The fish that live here, the native fish in the, in the Colorado River Basin, really evolved within a heavily silt-laden system. I mean, they're, they're used to it, they adapted to it. You know, they're able to find mates, they're able to feed, and they have mechanisms that allow them to do that without being able to see necessarily on this. The Denver area is growing rapidly and several organizations are looking to the Yampa as a possible source of new water. One newly proposed project would dam, divert, and pump back Yampa water 260 miles over three mountain ranges to the region around Denver. But all the mounting demands for the Yampa River water cannot be met without seriously impacting the Yampa's wildlife, parks, tourism, and the basin's quality of life. Tough decisions will need to be made in the near future. Impacts from any large new water project would extend well beyond the Yampa to the Green and ultimately to the Colorado River, even the Grand Canyon. The Yampa is actually one of the most key components of the Colorado River system because it really is one of the last wild, naturally functioning sections of the Colorado River system. Today, the waters of the Yampa are again the target of major water development proposals, but we are just uncovering its mysteries and beauty. Will we as a society be able to keep the Yampa free-flowing, wild and healthy, while managing water use and allowing for regional growth? How can we do this? We are seeking funding to complete and distribute a 70-minute detailed video building and expanding upon this introductory video and including alternatives to the proposed Trans-Basin Diversion. The project plans to distribute the final video to a wide audience through numerous channels and by making presentations to local, regional, and national groups. But we cannot do this without financial support. We seek your financial assistance to finish this critically important project. There are new threats to the Yampa that could alter it forever, so we cannot wait any longer. Bro.